are here with our new math t-shirts. It's an M for math. And we yes. have one more equation. Well, I don't know. You might watch others after this. But we have one more kind of equation to solve. Yes, that we want to show you. And we call them in our very mathy, mathy terms, the tricky multi-step equations. Wow. Yes, it is crazy. <laughs> now, to get you in the mood, the prince will slay the dragon before rescuing the princess in the castle. Got so it. if you remember before when we did tricky two-step equations, we had the same prince coming to rescue the same princess stuck in the same castle, okay? Um, and his solution back then was to destroy the castle and then ooh, rescue the princess. Right. But now we have an extra obstacle. Yes, the dragon has shown up. Oh my gosh! So we have gotta get rid of that dragon first before we can blow up the castle to save the princess, okay? So, the way we're going to do that, we're going to go after that dragon first, Miss Benson. And the dragon is minus five. Oh, and what's the opposite of a minus five? Oh, plus five. There you go. Add and five. we have to do it on both sides because we have to keep that equation balanced. So, that cancels out. And we bring down the 2x plus 3 all divided by 9. And on the right side, we have 6. So the princess is still up in that tower, and we're going to have to protect her, but the prince will send a force field first. They look like parentheses, but they're really a force field. And we're going to blow up that 9. So we're dividing by 9, so that means we're going to have to multiply by 9 on each side. On the left, it cancels. Float down that princess, 2x plus 3. And on the right, we're going to do 6 times 9, which is 54. From here, it's just a two-step equation. That's right. Go so ahead. So we're going we're to squeeze in the rest of the work down here, but this should be the easy part. So we subtract 3 from both sides, and I am almost out of room. But we're going to make it work. We get 2x equals 51, and then our last step is to divide both sides by 2. And we'll put our answer over here. Okay, we'll get x equals 25.5. Yes, ma'am. All right. And then... Ooh, that was close. How about we check this in the calculator? We definitely should. I think we should. So we're going to go ahead and start with the parentheses, and we're going to put in the 2x uh, plus 3, and we're going to close those parentheses. Then we're going to divide that whole thing. You want to do it on your keyboard? Oh, oh no, it'll work divided by 9, come out here and subtract that 5. Then I'm going to go down, and we found x was equal to 25.5, and it gave us 1, which is what we had over here in the beginning, so that means we did it correctly. Absolutely. So it's very similar to the tricky two-step, just with one little extra thing. So we're going to give you a problem to practice over here and make sure you check it and then we'll come back and check answers because we know you'll know how to do this so go be brave slay dragons save princesses the Did princess is saved <laughs> I'm so happy. Miss Vincent, will you walk us through it, please? Okay, so I'm going to do a speedy version, but if I lose you at any point, go back, watch the problem that we did on the previous page, okay? Mm -hmm. Or listen to it again. So we slayed the dragon by subtracting three, so all we were left with was this part. Oh, no. Oh. Almost, I almost blew up my princess, y'all. Because we okay. forgot to put the force Ooh. field. It's okay, we got her, we got her. Sorry about that. We're going to multiply by four. And that just leaves the top part. Subtract 7 and divide by negative 3. Once you get down here, it's super, super easy. And the answer we got was 9. We checked it over here. Negative 2 matched. So our check was correct. And our princess is saved. Yay. And they'll live happily ever after. My dang goodness. Yes. Okay. But not go. the dragon. The dragon didn't live happily ever after. No, we don't want to talk about shush. <laughs> 